guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on our YouTube account and we are looking at the Dismal Maze. Now, since there has been the updates to the Dismal Maze, you have the ability to sweep floors. But the question that I've been getting is, can you get or do you get more loot? Do you get less loot? Is it on equal parameters? Um, we're going to look at that in just a minute. Now, one thing I do want to make note of, guys, is as you can see, this is the team that I've actually had for quite a while. I run the Dismal Maze on a frequent basis. Now remember, to go ahead and do the sweep function, you do have to be on chapter 39. That is right, guys. It is pretty late game chapter 39, meaning Mr. King and Mr. Don, um, which could be the same person, ultimately cannot run the Dismal Maze because they are not, or cannot sweep the Dismal Maze because they are not into chapter 39. We're on 43, 39, so we have no problems. When we go in here and we proceed, we're gonna go ahead and challenge it in here. We'll begin the adventure. And there it is, guys. There is our level sweep, so we can actually go through here. Now, the big one in question, of course, was the Roamer. So you can see, guys, we get six guards, we get seven Praetorian guards, four Relic guards, and then we do get two bosses out of here. When we do the level sweep, we'll go ahead and confirm. Boom, we shatter it all the way down to um, the third floor. Now, again, guys, big thing, this is the loot that we're getting out of here. Um, you can see we have quite a bit of challenger tokens, which I absolutely love. We have a significant amount of our labyrinth tokens right here. Labyrinth tokens for the privilege is actually that, um, I think $2.99 the monthly pack. And then these are from the Field of Stars. They haven't updated the Field of Stars in a while, but I think ultimately it is coming. Then they have the Roamer. Out of here, guys, there's really nothing to buy in here. I just abandon it every single time, which is kind of a silly reason why they put it in here. But then we get to pick our relics out of here, guys. A um, majority of them going into the third floor, not super important. Um, I like to focus on a little bit more damage, whether it's this one actually takes less damage, but I try to focus on the damage. So right there, we have the crit. We'll go ahead and not using their ultimate abilities. This Angel's Aura is super, super strong, guys, right at the beginning. You can sleep everybody, which is, of course, very strong if you're doing a mega amount of damage. We have Energy, we have Charm. We'll go for Haste in this one. And when you get in here, guys, when you actually go into your first battle, you have full energy. So you see, guys, everybody here is 100% in full energy. I was running all the resin here at the current state. So we go through here, guys. We get two more sets of Relics. And then ultimately the chest. So we only have to run one single floor instead of it being all of the floors, making this incredibly fast. Now let's go ahead and look at the loot comparison over on Reddit, guys. See what it's all about. See if we're getting more loot. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, guys. So here we are over on the Reddit page for AFK Arena. And a big shout out to Tartaros AFK, Majestic Floofs GM, First Friends Guide Maker. Um, absolutely amazing content in here. This is why I wanted to cover it. No, the new lab sweep function doesn't cost you any rewards. It gives you more instead. So the amount of time to put this together is absolutely crazy. Again, a lot of players with the sweep function were saying that it gives you a lot less loot, which unfortunately is not the case. So right here, guys, that was the big one in question. A lot of players wondered about the roamer how are they working this in here when you take a normal path? Um, you might not get it. And he, again, breaks it down, or she breaks it down absolutely amazing. So how are you gaining? Short explanation, this is what we want to cover, guys. Maximum number of fights you can have in the first two floors is 13. Ideal week, you get seven Praetorian, six regular, but not every week is ideal. Sometimes you get six and six or five and seven, depending. When you sweep, Lilith gives you all 13 possible fights and they're giving you the best possible rewards options for those 13 fights and they are also giving you the roamer so the roamer even though it is shown in this picture this is actually a best case scenario or this is a bonus essentially when you're building out the um the roamer um so sweeping gives you the ideal camp rewards and then throws in the roamer as a bonus Again, the time and effort that it would take to absolutely break this down, guys. So longer explanation, this is kind of the, the layout changes within the rotations of the Labyrinth. We've actually seen this a couple times before with the visuals that we have here. Each floor has 10 steps you can land on. Again, three of these will be taken up by the Relic Fights, which we know two, and then the final boss. 
Floor one is the only one you can have seven non-relics because floor two and three have the witches and the divine fountain, which are at the very end, which cuts down the amount. And then of course the roamer's cart. Basic math you can see right here. And this is breaking it down. What is the combination of the camp variations? First, let's look at the best possible. So you can see here, guys, 921. This was the dismal maze that we received. Um, going through here, you can see where all of the camps are, where the wagons are, things of that nature. So looking at the easy, medium, and then, of course, um, the boss camps, legendary relics right in the middle. This is the best possible scenario, getting you the most camps. So this is the ideal. You can hit seven camps, six regular ones, which is the maximum numbers of fight, and you're getting the hard or better rewards within there. Um, this is consistent with the sweep rewards, but the sweep rewards also added in the roamer. And I think they did put that in there just to give you the ability um, to burn some of those diamonds. If you're needing red chests, if you're needing things of that nature, again, the roamer is not really the place to buy it out, but you definitely could. But not every week is ideal, you can see. So this is the worst layout that you could get within the formation. I'm giving you some of the different layouts of camps. Again, you're not gonna fight more of those Praetorian or the medium hard camps. You're actually gonna have a couple more easy camps when you're pathing through here. Like I've said before, guys, with the Dismal Maze, with the Arcane Labyrinth, the path of most resistance. I know it is kind of backwards, guys, but you want to get as many fights in there as possible to get those maximum amount of rewards. So there are also in between weeks where you can only get six Praetorian and don't have to skip the camp, meaning you can have six and sevens just like the 925, which was ideal. Now looking at this one, um, not great, not awful, just kind of a solid break up between them. Massive shout out to the, the lab pass who put in the hard work. Um, again, we've seen these for a considerable amount of time. They used to post them every single time the lab reset. Um, I would catch exactly the, the path that was in here. But again, guys, a, a absolute huge shout out for putting together all of the information and really breaking it down on how to get the most out of these camps, guys. I'm going to put a link down to this Reddit post. So if you want to check it out, if you have questions, there's a bunch of conversations about this. Again, Tartaros AFK, big shout out to him for putting all of this information together because I know it takes an incredible amount of time, guys, to make posts this long, this in depth. I'm really breaking it down, looking at the fundamentals of AFK Arena, analyzing the data that we have in there, and again, really coming up with a very solid set of information, again, th that makes a big difference for a lot of players. So guys, if you have eligibility, again, going into chapter 39, if you have the eligibility of doing this sweep function, the sweep function is going to give you extra rewards. Number one, it's going to give you the most ideal, the highest rewards that you can get out of there. Thank you, AFK Arena, and thank you, Lilith, for that. Um, it is going to give you the bonus roamer that comes out of there, which, again, a lot of players were concerned about with how much resources are we losing with getting this roamer block within there. But again, doesn't have an effect on the loop because you're still getting the exact same amount of guard and Praetorian guards, the maximum amount. You are also getting the same amount of the relic guards and the bosses. Um, only thing that would really differ with this would be within the lab itself. And I'm going to go ahead and show that to you now. All right, guys. So here we are looking at the labyrinth. And like I was saying earlier, um, the path of most resistance. So you can see, guys, we have a opportunity to actually move up this way because we are looking at the first battle for the energy. But then we have right here, we have the Praetorian Guard. Then we have a relic. Now at this point, guys, you can go to this middle. This one in the thick will actually be another Praetorian Guard. Um, but some players, if you do go over here to the Fountain of Vitality, you're going to be giving up the loot from the Praetorian Guard, which of course is some EXP, also some random treasure, as well as some gold. Um, this again is two battles. And then when you get up here, you have to ensure you know which way you're going. The only way you can maximize your loot is either, either taking one of these two relics right here that we see to move up to these last two, which of course these two camps as well are the Praetorian Guard, meaning that you have to have two teams to fight these out. But when you look at some of the past guys, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then of course the boss would give us eight right there. 
Um, you could theoretically, if you wanted to skip the Praetorian Guard, you can skip them. But again, the path of most resistance um, will maximize the, the loot that you're getting out of the Dismal Maze with all of the camps that are in here, which is the reason why we choose that path. So all right, guys, so that'll do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about the Dismal Maze and the sweep function. And as always, thank you guys for watching.